All right, to start off this video, I will be going through all of the parts I purchased, where I got them, and then a brief summary of the things I've learned throughout the process here. This is the first watch build I've ever done. By no means will this be a comprehensive guide on how to do it. It'll just be my experience with doing it. I do recommend trying it out though if you're interested in, in giving it a shot. It was easier than I expected and very rewarding. You get a cool watch you can wear around and a sense of accomplishment, I guess. Uh, to start off, I was looking through AliExpress. That was my original plan. I was going to buy all my parts there. It seems like I could get the best prices uh, on cases, dials, hands, things along those lines. But I was having a bit of difficulty finding ones that spe met my specifications that I wanted and then also had the look that I wanted. Um, for example, here is an Explorer case with 37 millimeter i liked that size i prefer a smaller watch in general also a little bit thinner but here we can see the thickness for this uh, 37 millimeter watch comes in at 12.3 millimeters then when you're getting into dive watches it's even more dramatic in my experience from what i could find um, where the, the thicknesses are coming in at like 16.6 or even and even higher that and than that in some cases I'm sure there are uh, cases and dials and hands that would be perfect for what I wanted on AliExpress. It's just not formatted in a way that I could find them super easily. So I ended up spending a bit more and going on two different websites that I had seen in different people's mod videos. One is Namaki Mods, uh, where I purchased my case and cased back. And then also this website, I think it's called the Yabokis or Yabokis. Um, where I purchased the chapter ring, dial, and then also hands for the watch. And then finally, I purchased my movement on eBay. Around $30 can get you an NH35. So for the case, I went with the NMK932 field watch case bundle. The bundle is because it comes along with the crown, a sapphire, and then also the Saf the crystal, the gasket for the crystal, and the gasket for the case back, and then I went with the slim case back. So this one is point adds 0 0.8 millimeters to the thickness. So that 0 0.8 millimeters, along with the 9.2 of the case, came in right at 10 millimeters, which is where I wanted it to be. And then there are so many options on this website for dials. It's a great, uh, honestly, a great website. When you order parts from it, it's a little bit weird in the sense that you it's not like a standard website where you or Amazon where you just buy and pay right there. You actually place your order, they send you an email, and then you pay on PayPal after the fact. Um, for all three of these, the shipping is what you would expect for something coming from either China in this case or Yavoki ships from uh, Hong Kong. And then uh, Namaki Mods did have faster shipping. You pay a little bit more for faster shipping. And then if your order is over a certain size, they give you expedited shipping as well. So overall, pretty good uh, experience with all three places I purchased. I went with this specific uh, eBay seller for my NH35 movement. I'll include all of my the links for the parts I purchased in the description for the video. Uh, to start off, I started by installing the chapter ring into the case and then the crystal on top of that and then from there I went on and put the dial onto the movement along with the hands cut the stem for the crown and uh, completed all of that installation I got that all on video for us um, so without further ado we'll go straight into the installing of the chapter ring all right so I'm going to Here's my chapter ring. We're gonna be putting that in. But I wanna anchor it down because it's it's a little bit loose in there. I feel like when I press the crystal it might kind of shift. And I've got minute markers on both the chapter ring and the dial, which probably isn't the best idea. But it I think it's gonna make it hard to get them all lined up perfectly. So if it shifts even the smallest bit it'll be noticeable. But I also want it to be reversible. So I was thinking I'll do either Loctite or we're gonna use some Elmer's glue. Just the tiniest drop in the corner of one side, I think it'll be enough to hold it 
so that way it stays centered. So we're going to give that a try and then we're going to press the crystal in. All right, so that's how much glue I'm doing, which is not very much. I'll just go ahead and put it in. And center it. There we go. The way I'm checking to see if it's centered is to all of the little arrow ones point directly at the center. I think I think we're good. Okay. All right. Now to press the crystal in, and then we'll start working on the dial on the hands of the movement. So when I bought this case from, I think it was from the Namaki Mods website, um, it came with this thin white plastic gasket and then also like a rubber o-ring type thing. So the o-ring, per my research, is for the case back to seal that. And then the hard thin white plastic gasket is for between the case and the crystal, which is, seems like it's gonna be a pretty tight fit. I don't have one of those fancy crystal presses, so I'll probably just be using a wood clamp, and we'll see what happens, see if it works. If it doesn't, I might need to invest in a crystal press, but give it a shot. Okay, so this is gonna be my clamping setup. I've got these this Jorgensen wood vise where you rotate each handle and it'll, it'll bring it down in and tight. So I should be able to kind of adjust and make sure that the pressure is coming down perpendicular to the crystal. And I'm gonna just lay the crystal on there. You can set nice and flat. I took the case back off because I don't wanna crush the case back and we'll see what happens here. All right, so I've got the crystal set evenly all the way across, and now I'm gonna just tighten up these handles a little bit by a little bit. Kind of going from side to side. It looks like it's going in, so. I'm going to be able to get it to set all the way. I might need more leverage. But if I need more leverage, I'm going to just try to switch it over to the side of the clamp. Okay, let's see. Let's see how that does. All right, I'll loosen it up a bit. Take it out and see how far we've gotten. All right. So I feel like it's pressed in most of the way. It still has a little, it's sitting a little proud. I'm not sure if it's supposed to sit a little proud. I'm gonna look from the bottom and see if it's up against the chapter ring. If it is, I'm gonna call it good. If it's not, we're gonna try pressing it on the other side a little bit. Okay, I think I got it to set pretty well. It's not perfect. Actually, maybe it is perfect and I just don't know, but it doesn't seem like it's perfect. It's it has a little bit of a, um, it's a little bit above the edge here, but no matter how hard I seem to press, it seems to, it's even, it's evenly, I don't know if I can show you this well, but it's evenly above the case all around. So it's not like it's cocked up in one corner and then down in the other. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave that for now. And now I'm going to put the case back on and the crown and see if it's watertight. I've now got the crystal on, crown, and case back with gaskets in, and I'm going to do the water test, how I'm sure all the professionals do it in a bathroom sink. We'll just set it, let it sit here for a few minutes, 
underwater. If it holds water well enough to um, keep water out for a few minutes, I think I'm good enough. I don't, I'm not going to be using this for diving or anything, so we will come back and see. I let it sit for around a half hour in the water, pulled it out, case back off. It seems we have success. I didn't see any leaks. There's no water in the case. Fantastic. This is the movement I got. It is from eBay. It's like 30 bucks. It's an NH35 movement. Shipped straight from China. It actually seems to be pretty good quality. Like when, when you can, if you can zoom in, I can't really zoom in well on this camera, but if you if you're looking at like the gears, they all look like they're cut pretty nicely. Everything runs smoothly. This is our. You can see it's running right now. I haven't even wound it up much, just from the auto winder and keeping it in the in the box, moving the box around. But so the movement comes and it comes separate from the dial. I got the one with the black date to go with the dial I purchased I and mean, then I'll put the link for where I got the dial but the dial basically just sets right on top of let me get this to focus a little bit better the dial sits right on top of the movement and there's two little dial feet um, it was having a I was having a little hard time getting it to set but then I looked and it turned out that the feet on the dial were bent a little bit. So if your dial isn't pressing nicely into or on top of the movement, it could be because the foot is bent, but you can just tweak it with your fingers. It's like it's real soft metal. So you can just bend it straight and then it sets on nicely. And now all I've got to do is put the hands on and then clean all the dust and whatnot off. I got a little nick on the side over here when I was just taking it in and out of the case as well as here. But that shouldn't really matter because that's all covered up by the chapter ring. So they're pretty fragile, but at the same time, you can still handle them without we're having to worry too much. All right, so I turned the time so that it is just just flip the date from the prior day to this day. I'm going to go ahead and go on in now. And I should be setting these hands at the 12 o'clock position. And that's not quite right. I want to make sure they're lined up just perfectly. Good. All right. So I've got the hour hand set. I think it's pretty flat. Set in there. Now we're going to go in and set the minute hand on there. Just picking it up over here from the side. You need pretty steady hands, which I do not have. I'm also using a little pen tube to help set the. Um, help oh, press down because they make special hand pressers 
but I really didn't buy any special tools for this, which I most likely will regret. Well, I ran out of storage when I was finishing putting that second hand in. And then when I set the movement in the case. But here is the result so far. Now, I only, now all I have to do is cut the stem to length, install that, and I should be good to go. Uh, to put the movement into the case, I basically just set it all out here once I had the second hand nice and set in there and all the I checked to make sure they would not interfere with each other when I when I uh, would set the time and then I just set the case right down on top pressed firmly and it just popped into place and everything's lined up pretty good I might shift it a bit I think it might be slightly off from the chapter ring but I can go in and adjust it by just pushing on the little plastic parts that hold the movement in. All right, so all I've got left is now cutting the stem to length. So for that, we're gonna measure from the crown to the case and remove that amount from the threaded side of the stem. And then we'll Loctite the stem into the crown and hopefully it should be a perfect fit. I guess we'll find out. All right, so I take the crown, just taking a pair of wire cutters, just barely going in there. So that little piece flying. And now I need to take this and grind it down or just file it nice and flat so the threads uh, catch better. And for that, I will be using this little diamond stone. And then at the end, I'm gonna go around and chamfer the corners, make it nice and flat. I'm gonna just go and chamfer the corners now. make it nice and flat. Here it is after cutting it down. I'm still a little bit too far out to get the threads to catch when I do the push in for the um, screw down crown. So I will be taking it out, cutting it a little bit more. I'll get that on video and then trying to fit it again. It looks like I only have to go maybe a millimeter more. It's pretty close. Okay, so instead of cutting it down, I actually thought I'd just check it one more time, and it turns out it was a perfect fit, but for some reason the screw down part of the crown, for the screw down crown, which is like the little spring in there, got, had gotten stuck, so it wasn't screwing in any further. But now, it screws all the way in until it's flush against the case. So I've got it all put back together and I put a little drop of Loctite on the end. I didn't get any special Loctite, I just used the same stuff we use for automotive. And I we'll see, we'll see if it works out. So we have assembled it all, it's just time to polish it up or get all of the fingerprints off of it and put the strap on it and it will be finished. All right, so that is the completed build here. We've got it on a hyperlapse, just so you can see the second hand go around and, and watch the hands move a bit. Uh, when it comes to the total amount of time putting it together or assembling it, I would say it's around two hours. So that includes setting the hands, pressing the crystal in, the chapter ring, 
I'm cutting the stem down for the crown, screwing that all together, case back, gaskets, and, and whatnot. It definitely is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It seemed like a bit of a daunting task, but when you actually think about it, there's just a few components that you're putting together. It's not like we're building the movement from scratch here, so it's, it's just it's more of an assembly. Uh, but definitely a very cool project. We'll do again. I think I'm going to do a diver next, so stay tuned. I don't know how long it'll take me to get all the parts and figure out exactly what I want to do for that, but I'll, I'll post another video maybe later next year with, with that, so feel free to subscribe if you're interested. And then I would say a few things to keep in mind, things that I would change from what I did this time. The Elmer's glue did work well. I would just use one drop though, no need to do four or five. I ended up getting some glue on the dial and then having to clean it off. So no reason to deal with that. And then also I would be a bit more careful with my dial. I put it in and out quite a few times because I wanted to see what the watch would look like was when it was completed. During that, I ended up chipping the paint a bit on one of the edges. Um, it's under the chapter ring, so it's not visible. So I'm not too annoyed with that. But if it was in a more visible place, I can only imagine that there's not much you can do. You probably just have to buy a new movement. Um, lastly, you can see that the hour, or not the hour, the date is slowly starting to turn over. So from around 10, 30 till midnight, it will slowly start shifting to the next day. Um, it does pop over at around midnight. I set the hour hand properly, but there is a, a little transitionary period where you'll see both dates on there. Um, it could just be my movement, I'm not quite sure, or I'm not sure if it's all NH35s. But overall, great project I'd recommend doing for anyone who's interested, anyone who's been watching Watch Mod channels out there, just go on eBay, buy yourself the NH35 movement or a similar movement. That way you've got the inspiration to get the rest of the parts and do your own build. It's something that's really satisfying and then also you get to wear the product at the end. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.